Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and I'm here today with something a little different, although thankfully it's collage because that's what I like to do the most. But this is a letter that I got from a friend of mine, um, Nancy Pider. She is um, a subby of mine and she she does stuff a lot like I do. I really love the things that she makes. I follow her on YouTube. She is Nancy Piter, P-Y-T-E-R, here on YouTube. If you don't follow her, then go over and take a look because she does pretty things. But she says, this is a quick and easy challenge to create a piece of ephemera using 10 items included in this envelope. You can color the flower any color you wish, make a short video and post it and use this hashtag envelope ephemera challenge to post on Instagram. And then gather 10 items and mail them out to your friends so they can have fun with this challenge. Keep it simple by only one, using one stamp to mail your 10 items. So Nancy is also artchick8168 on Instagram, in case you're on Instagram. And so she sent me these 10 things. I think she sent these to a few others, but when the challenge grows, then there will be obviously different things that get sent out. So if you are one of my friends and you are interested in um, in playing along in this challenge, and I will put together several envelopes of things, and I will post my email in the description, and you can send me an email with your address, and I will mail you an envelope, and you can play along. Um, I will only leave my email up for, you know, a couple of days. So if you're interested, then catch that early. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, you know, I looked around and I thought about making a pocket, which would be cute, but 10 things is quite a lot to put onto a small, a small book page. And the challenge didn't say that I could use other other things as well. So I thought about folding it this way and maybe making a belly band. But I think what I'm going to do is make just a page pocket. I may have to kind of trim it down later. So I'm going to kind of put things here in the corner in case I have to trim it down. Um, so that's, that's what I'm going to do. I am, I think, going to, this is white. I don't, I don't have a lot of white in my journal so I do think I'm going to um, neutralize that white I think we'll just do a little bit of smushing here um, put some water on that and we'll make that just a little less let's see what that did yeah it's still white enough just I think that we'll just let that dry for a minute and uh, while we do some other things maybe even put a little bit more make it look kind of coffee dyed and uh, maybe we'll put some green on it that might be good I, I want to keep it you know, pretty, pretty, um, neutral because I don't know where I would, whoops, that tore it off. It's okay. We can fix that when we glue it on. Okay. All right. We're just going to let that dry a little bit while we do some other things. I think the first thing I want to do is put this down somehow. So it's my glue stick. And this looks like it's a tea bag. Um, I think I'll leave it kind of toward this left corner.
right now um Since my little guys, I think we need to have a little bit of distress on those white edges. And I think I'll take my sandpaper and just um, give that, take the shine off of that. Hmm, now they look like they have beards. Whoa, that was maybe a little bit too much sanding. The grit was probably a little too, too sharp. So let's just distress it a little further. And now we'll ink it. And that'll, that'll take care of some of these issues. Okay, so as I was saying, these guys are sitting, so I've got to use either this, and I think this is a sticker. Um, I think it needs a little more distress, too. In fact, it looks kind of too new. It needs quite a bit more distressing, I think. Let's just smash it a little and get some ink on there. Um, so we've got to make a base for these guys to sit, I think. Let's put this down here. There's the edge. Hmm. So they can sit there. And I think we'll put this behind them. But I want to get that this plant on there. Put that. on next. Oops. I don't know if you can hear the wind blowing. Gosh, we've got a lot of wind. It always happens here in the spring. We just get a tremendous amount of wind. Okay. I think we'll put this on first. Actually, I know, I know I'm going to want this towards the top. There's this little, this little, um, Tim Holtz paper clip and this little tab thing. And I think I'm going to leave the paper clip on there. And I think I want it going the other way though. No, I think I want it going this way and we'll 
put it so that it looks like it's clipped on up here at the edge of that. So let me put that on first. And actually, here, this is a sticker. This is going to um, like repeat this circle. Or, oh, what if I put that? There. No, that's too much. I think I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it up here. I think behind, behind that. Pull that down a little. this on. Well, now I have to put more glue on because it dried too much. So I may as well put this on now while I'm waiting. We'll do this again. Nope. That's what I get for trying to do this before it's completely dry. It's okay though because it's not I'm not going to notice it once it's on the paper. All right, now we can put this circle on. is also a sticker. Let's see if I can get that off. There we go. We have two more pieces. We have this really pretty Netherlands stamp. And we have this number seven. And I think, I think I'm going to put that there. And the seven there. That is a really, um, it's a really balanced, it's a really balanced, I don't usually do that, that balanced. Let's 
community for me that up. Yeah, I like that a little better, I think. Okay, so I'm going to glue these guys down next. So once I get this finished, it will be um, like a full page pocket. I don't know in which journal. I am getting ready to do another steampunk journal. So maybe if I bring this over a little bit, it'll balance, kind of balance on that side a little bit more. I don't want it too close to the edge though. Yeah, I think that'll work well. And seven. Seven is a significant number. I don't know if you know, but it's it is a, a biblical um, symbolic number. Okay, it just kind of, it just kind of seems like something is missing. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to get just a little bit of white paint, if you'll be patient with me just one minute. white, maybe just kind of a, a cream color. Yeah. Whoops, I don't need that much. Good grief. My brayer. And I'm going to need a piece of trash to lay that off on. Piece. You can see I don't I really don't need that much paint. Just want it a little bit. Clean off his face. I don't want the paint on his face. Okay, now I need, I think, is let me just move some of that paint over so that it's not getting in the way. But now we need just a little bit of black. Just a little bit of black splatter. Good. Splatter brushes, I know, out in the kitchen sink, sadly. So, no, nope, that's not, not thin enough. Okay, that ought to work. Put my fingers over their face. Baby wipe and make 
sure their faces are clean. Yeah, there we go. I don't know. What do you think? That was quite a challenge, but I think it turned out pretty well. Hey, thanks for being with me. And as I say, I'm going to go gather up. Oh, I'm going to say maybe six envelopes with 10 items in. And so I hope six of you will send me an email and let me know if you want to play on this challenge. Thanks very much. And we will see you, see you again soon.